There's no denying that we're still living through a pretty crazy time in history. I think what a lot of people are forgetting is that when it comes to how you react to how you deal with this crazy world, it's actually you that gets to decide. Well, hey there, how are you? Um, So yeah, I mean, the world's still nuts, right? We are still knee-deep in pandemic world. We are all still dealing with our own types of stresses that are coming out of this, right? When it's worrying about our jobs, worrying about going to work, worrying about school, if the kids can get back in or not, worrying about our health, worrying about our family's health, our friend's health. There's a lot to stress out about. There's no, there's no doubt about it. I'm curious to know what's going on in your life, what's happening with you right now. What is it that is holding you back? What is it that you're dealing with? Tell me your story because you know that I love to talk to you in the comments. If you're new to the channel, I hope you'll subscribe. But but here's here's the real breakdown, right? Here's what I'm getting at when I'm talking about how it is that you choose to deal with the things in life uh, that you come up against, okay? I think uh, my message today is quite simply to remember that you are the one that decides how you react, all right? I think it comes down to whether or not someone is aware of their own limitations. I'll go this far, but no farther when it comes to dealing with stressful situations head on. And there's no right or wrong answer uh, when it comes to how do you how do you cope? How do you deal? Okay, that's not actually true. There's some wrong ways to cope and there's some wrong ways to deal. Uh, we certainly uh, do not want to see uh, substance abuse and uh, uh, you know self-destructive behavior as a way to cope. But we also uh, have to avoid lashing out. And it's tough, right? Every single one of those things that I mentioned a minute ago are emotional issues. They are issues that touch on our fears and that can be that can be explosive. That can be a dangerous combination for a lot of people. And they do turn towards negative ways to uh, to cope and to deal. And it's it's so easy to get lost in self-destructive patterns. I've I've been there. I was there for a very long time. Um, I celebrated 20 years of sobriety this past December of 2020. And I know from my years of of dealing with substance abuse and and dealing with self-destructive behavior that it's just easier. It, it just feels better to allow yourself to, to just succumb to those urges, to feel like you've got control of something. You know, I can control uh, the amount of, of anger and frustration I pour into this response. You know, the world is not going to stop testing us. Uh, the world is not going to... Uh, suddenly snap one day and, and everything's going to be fine and rosy and peaches. We'll, we'll get past this pandemic, right? We'll get past the moments of economic uh, hardship and, and strife, but people will still be suffering. People will still uh, deal with loss, right? Either personal or professional or family. There's just so much that we have to learn to cope with on a regular basis. The other side of that is not just how you treat yourself and how you react to these negative situations, but how you treat others. The other coin, uh, when you, when you turn it over shows, uh, disdain for those that, that, that we don't like, right? There's, there's too much violence in the world. There's too many folks that take out their frustrations and their fears on other people, right? The the quote unquote Karen, right? The one that is lashing out in public in stores over things like wearing masks or uh, and forget the mask wearing. That's just the that's just the, the modern day example. But you've had folks that that take it out on others uh, in their family, right? Among their friends, self destructive responses don't just mean what you do to yourself. It means how you treat others and those around you. 
And again, it's just entirely too easy of an answer for folks to say, I'm, I'm, I'm scared, I'm mad, point the finger at someone else as the source of the problem. To point at the other, the person who uh, comes from a different background or a different walk of life or a different ethnicity or a different social economic group and say, yeah, you know what, this is your fault. I, I'm not immune to that. I certainly look at uh, things from more of a uh, progressive point of view and I look at folks that are greedy and folks that take advantage of the system and say, you're the problem. Well, I, I, I'm not moving away from that position. I believe that wholeheartedly. But that doesn't mean that I can use my position as an excuse. I can't use that as a reason to uh, allow myself to fail. Now, I know, I know. There's, there's things that are stacked against me. Um, but I, I'm not going to stop working. I'm not going to stop pushing for the things I believe in. I'm not going to stop dragging my sorry ass out of bed every day, driving to an office that I hate, <laughs> doing a job that I can stomach uh, so that I can pay those bills and provide for my family, that I can put myself in danger every single day, walking into public buildings to accomplish the things I have to, whether it's grocery shopping or go to work, uh, ever present mindful of the risk that I can get this illness and bring it home and that I'm at risk for serious illness, that my family, every single person I, I come into contact with is either a risk to me or a risk to my family and I could be a risk to them and not even know it. But you have to push forward. You have to do the things you have to do. And if that means curtailing how often I walk into stores, you damn right. I, I, I go into stores once a week, every Monday. I go and I get the food and the necessities that my family needs for a week. And outside of that, I go to work and that's it. And that's a choice that you make, that I make, that everybody has to make. You have to choose how you want to react. You have to choose how you want to respond. And if you're going to choose to respond and react negatively, to take it out on yourself and to take it out on others, you're not going to find any peace. You're not going to find any resolution. You're not going to find any solace. It is absolutely in your best interest and everybody else's best interest to take steps to, to just work through these things, right? The answer is different for everyone. For some people, it's things like meditation. For other people, it's hobbies. For me, it's making videos and podcasts. For me, it's the TV shows and the movies that I love. Uh, it's the music when I drive. It's cranking up the, the heavy metal when I'm on the road. It's uh, making myself a, a, a nice little television schedule so that I know that on this day of the week I get to watch this show I love and spend time with my family and when I'm at work uh, talk to the people that I consider uh, friends right it's realizing that when I'm out in public someone else might do something that'll piss me off but that's not a reason for me to lash out and call them out and uh, and, and push my f frustration and anger on somebody else who's doing the same thing and just trying to live their life obviously you have to call out bad behavior when you see it but only in the context of protecting yourself and protecting others. Not about protecting your biases or protecting your self-interest. It's about everybody actually deciding as a society, as a whole, as a group, that we want to be better. That we want to rise above all of these things that are out there to get us. <laughs> viruses and economic strife and the world in general and bad people and bad situations. Yes, all of those happen. They're not going to stop, but we can mitigate how we feel. We can decide how we're going to move forward uh, and deal with the things that life decides to throw at us. If you took a couple of minutes of your time to listen to this, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I hope that you'll subscribe and come along. Uh, I hope wherever you are that you and yours are safe and healthy. I will talk to you in the next one. Thanks so much. Take care, and I'll see you on the road.